What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Peter, give me some story time music. So, guys, you know, Kevin Samuels is really changing the internet. Not only for men, but for women as well, okay? And you know what's so funny is, like, Kevin Samuels, he has fans that um, that if they were to call into his show, he would cook them, literally. And he would embarrass them on his show if they were to call in. Like, you, you I probably saw I had a video um, about a 30-year-old, 30-plus-year-old single mother that is still probably sleeping with her baby daddy wanting to find a man in Kevin Samuels' fans group. So these are the kind of women that listen to Kevin Samuels. It's just not the women who agree with him. These are the women who he's talking about. In case in point, there is this particular um, screenshot going around of this particular lady who is Lizzo sized, okay? Now stop the show. We all know uh Kevin Samuels has a question with three components. What is it? Height, weight, dress size, H W D. Okay? And this lady is a let's just I hate to say this, she makes Lizzo look small, right? But this is what she came into a group posting. We'll play it here. Date music! Seeking high-valued men, healthy, in shape. Stop the show. Please point the arrow at her. Okay. Again, healthy, in shape. Which, as you can see, it doesn't appear that this is what she is. But, date music! Make at least 60K annually. 4K in life insurance. Stop the show. Do you want to kill somebody? Like what? Like what do you? Why do you have life insurance? Because probably after you mess with your ass, and what you'd be cooking and eating, obviously you probably ain't gonna live too long. No more than two kids and handsome. Stop the show. I I don't get like why you feel you're able to dictate anything here. Well, like like like. <clears throat> You know you listen to Kevin Samuels because you said seeking high-valued man. Kevin, Sa although that's not his phrase or talking point, but if you say high-valued man, it's synonymous with Kevin Samuels' content. Okay, but I guess that wasn't enough, and she probably noticed she was going to get roasted, so she said this: "Day music. I'm 42, no kids, never been married. Sure, I'm a big girl. I can go to gym at any time I feel. Stop the show." Okay, let's imagine I'm a guy that says, I'm 42, no kids, never been married, I'm broke, no job, but I can get income anytime I feel. What would a woman say about me? What would a woman say about any man? But let's just say, for example, I was a man that was working and I wanted a woman. I had certain expectations and qualifications that a woman should fit even though I am not financially stable. What would most women do? I'll tell you what they would do. They would laugh at me. Not only would women laugh at me, or you, or any man who does it. Listen, men will laugh at you. Because men understand that in the world, you cannot request what you are not. It doesn't make any sense. You cannot ask for something that you're not. All right? It's just to make sense. But in 2021, you can ask for something that you're not as long as you're the opposite sex, as long as you're a woman, okay? This woman is saying that I can go to the gym anytime I feel. Why don't you want to go to the gym now? And see, here's the issue with that. Whenever a woman gets into this um, position, and at least she's letting you know up front, like if she doesn't want to go to the gym or she doesn't want to do certain. And if you accept that, you can expect that for the duration of the, the relationship. Like if she says, well, 
I can go to the gym anytime I feel, and you get with her under those parameters, well, what's the incentive for her to go? You've already accepted the fact that she's not going to change that. If you want to be long term, I mean, you know, but she's not going to, she's not, because if she don't want to work out for herself, her own health, why would she do that for you? She don't care about herself. There's nothing that you can do. And some of y'all think, you know, you know, uh, day music. Yeah, man. All she need is some of this D. I'm going to break her off with some of this D. What do clapping sounds? Yeah, when I break her off with some of this D, it'll make her change her life. She's going to be all on her, nigga. And see, this is why y'all are stupid. You think everything matters about some D. You know, if that's the case, then black men will be running the world. Black men would have every business, every finance, all kind of banks if it was based on how good you can screw. Because obviously we can do that. But a woman is not going to change based off of, you know, you having sex with her. If you accept her at that, that's what she's going to do. The only thing that will change is if she wants to change. So she don't feel like her appearance is a problem. So then she's not going to change it. She said, I can go to gym anytime meaning that I can I can lose this weight anytime. But she says, but do I still have a shot at a high value man? Hint, no kids? Okay, I wanna say this. This goes back to kind of like the basic income mentality that certain women have, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that. The basic income mentality is like, you know, that everybody deserves a certain wage. It should be a certain amount of money kind of like it's kind of communist if you think i think so basic income is, is is taking this mentality from a lot of women feel like because they can do the minimum that they qualify for certain things for example you will hear women say i got my own car i have my own house i pay my own bills congratulations this is what 95 percent of adults do but because they position it like that that automatically uh, makes them in their opinion because i have achieved adulthood i can pay for my own apartment pay for my own car all of a sudden i deserve these things i deserve you know x y and z i deserve you know this and that but you're just doing the basic stuff you want a high value man because you don't have any kids how many other black women out there who are beautiful, who are very attractive, who don't have any kids. They have banging bodies. They are working out. They are thick. They are beautiful. Okay. But you deserve a high value man because you don't have any kids. See, there's a lot of men that don't have kids. And not only in the black race. See, a lot of times people forget that you're, you know, high value black men, high value men in general, you're competing against women of other races for those kind of men. It's not just a African-American male thing. Like a lot of black women forget that. When they look at high value black men, they think that, you know, they obviously deserve a high value black man so they can just, you know, the minimum. I guess it would be like applying to HBCU, you know, Gremlin or Alcorn, you know, just demanding to get in because you're black. But, you know, what happens if all students can apply there? All right, then it's different, right? Because now you're competing against everybody you're not just competing against certain people you compete against everybody all right and this is the problem with a lot of people they, they, they feel that you know that they are they are old this because they're black no you're not you're not old anything because you're black you have to work for what you get in life this is what they don't understand, but I'm here to, you know, help them understand that nobody deserves to give you nothing because you're African-American or because you're a black woman. You only get what you deserve. Okay. Now guys, you think that she has a high value man looking, you know, in, in this particular fashion. You know what guys that have a lot of money that have a lot of, you know, they're going to look for a woman that's more in shape. Okay. Usually. A woman, a man's not going to work really hard to try to get a woman that he feels is very, very average looking. She needs to have something about her that stands out. Well, obviously she, <laughs> well, okay. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy.
O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts, guys. I really thank you for your support. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. Don't forget the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts, brothers. I am out. Mm-hmm.